Hello, Bobcats and all you other OCPS teachers out there. Going to today talk about something pretty cool. I've done a couple videos on Studio already. Make sure you've checked out how to create Studio videos. But I also have not covered yet how to create a Studio quiz. And this is pretty cool. So Studio quizzes will allow you to take a video in your studio, or you can import a YouTube video, and actually go ahead and make a quiz out of that video where there will be stop points at which the students have to answer questions throughout those videos. We have our American Sign Language teacher at our school, Mr. Smith. Shout out to Mr. to Derek Smith, who's killing it. Um, he is doing a lot of these, and it's been phenomenal for him, but they're also useful for a lot of other purposes as well. So I want to show you how to do these. So the first step is to go into Studio on Canvas. So make sure you're logged into Canvas, and then click on Studio. Once you're in there, you will see all the videos that have currently been loaded into your Studio. So you can see a lot of the videos I've created before are all right here. You can also import a video directly from YouTube. So if you find a video somewhere else or on YouTube that you want to use, you can click this add button right here and you can paste the file directly or paste the URL to the YouTube directly or go ahead and upload an existing file on your computer. Those are both options as well. So if you want an example of that, you can just go to youtube.com. and we can find a video that we'd like to share with our students, such as this one, for example. We can just right click, we can copy the link address, and then add and paste it directly into this box right here. Now that video is in my studio and I can use that. For the purposes of today though, I'm gonna use this one right here. Once you've decided what video you want to go ahead and create a quiz for, you're going to hover over the video, click the three dots, and hit Create Quiz. If you've already created a quiz for something, you might see a little bit different option. You'll see Quizzes, and then you can add a quiz or use an existing quiz. So in this case, I actually want to do this. This Add Quiz button will function exactly the same as Create Quiz. Now, we give the quiz a title. This one's going to be on Nearpod Publish a lesson, actually publish a self-paced lesson. We can give it a description. For students, I would probably want to go ahead and give it a description. I would not hide question markers. I would not mess with this setting. I've been told that it can cause issues for students finding questions, so we're going to leave that as an X, and then we're going to hit get started. On the next screen, we're going to see the actual video itself. What I would recommend at this point is you actually play through the video and at stop points where you want questions, then you're going to go ahead and hit stop. So in this case, so I can do a couple different things. So I can do a quick question just to make sure they were paying attention. So in this case, multiple choice, this video is about how to publish a Nearpod, which is what I just said, create a Nearpod, let's give a third option, delete a Nearpod. So those are my question choices. This one is the correct answer, that's why it's there. I can add more answers like I just did. The options I have, I can vary points by answer. So if I want partial credit on one answer, I can do vary points by answer. So if there's one that's half right, I could give them half points. I click vary points. This one is worth one point. This one, or two points. This one is worth one point. I can do that. I can also do shuffle the choices so that the options come up in different orders. And I can give feedback to the question. I can give feedback for when they get it correct, like that is right. I can give feedback for an incorrect answer or general feedback that they'll see either way. So once I'm done with my question, I hit save. Then I may skip a little farther ahead to my next part here. And then we'll say, I remember creating this video, so I had to hit save changes in order to get the publish button on Nearpod. So we're gonna get to the point where I'm finished with that. And so I'm gonna say, We'll do a true false question. This is pretty straightforward.
That is not true. You just have to hit save. So, and then again, my feedback options are there and true false. So we're going to hit save. The last option would be multi select, which is the same as a lot of other ones where you can do multiple options, as you might suggest. And let's put it right here. We'll do a multiple select and we'll have. So we'll say canvas, we'll say email, that's also correct. We'll say um, class dojo, and then we'll say embed. That one's not correct. And then again, we have all of our options. So in this case, shuffle the choices, and then I can again give feedback to the question and save. So once I've gone through the video and added my questions, I can now go ahead and hit the done button. And my quiz is created. So now it's created, but my students don't have it yet. But notice here I have quizzes, I have the one I created already, and then I have the new one. So share Nearpod lesson quiz was the one I practiced with, now I have the new one. And again, if I haven't created a quiz, if I didn't save correctly, I will see create quiz when I click those three dots. So now that I have it, I'm going to go into my actual course and I'm going to give it to my students. Now here's where you have to do a little trick. There's actually three or four different ways you can give this to your students, but if you want it to be graded and everything to show up correctly, this is probably the best way to do it, the correct way to do it. So once you're in your course, go ahead and go to assignments. And then we're going to add an assignment. Nearpod publishing quiz. What I would normally recommend in this space is to say, watch the video below and answer the questions as they appear. We're going to make it Eh, let's make it 50 points. It is going to be a classwork grade. As always, when you're creating an assignment, make sure the categories line up with your categories in Skyward, or else it won't sync correctly. We're going to display it as points. Now, here's the trick. Instead of online, we're going to go to external tool as our submission type. And then here, we click the find button, and we're going to click on Canvas Arc slash Studio. If you don't know, last year, Studio was not called Studio, it was called Canvas Arc. It did a transition. So that's why they have it listed as Canvas Arc slash Studio. Now from here, I'm going to find that video that I created a quiz for, which is this one right here, and I'm going to select it. Now I'm going to click Video Quiz Embed, and this will show me those two quizzes I've created for that video. Remember, if you only have one, you'll only see one in this dropdown, but I'm going to go ahead and pick this one I just created, and then I'm going to click Embed. Now I'm going to hit Select, and then this will be added in. Don't mess with this. If you mess with this link, then you'll have problems, so don't do that. I want to make sure I sync the grades. I want to assign it to everyone. I need to give it a due date, so we'll say April 10th. If you want an available from and an available to date, that's an option. I don't typically use it. Then we're going to hit either save or save and publish. If you want your students to be able to see it now, we can hit save and publish. Now, this is what the students will see when they get on. They'll see a get started button to be able to watch the video and see the quiz questions. Just to give you an idea how that looks for them, they would hit get started. And then you'll notice it's going to load the video and you'll see the question spots. So they'll click on this and then they'll have the question. This video is about how to create a Nearpod. Continue. And once they hit continue, it'll pick up right where they left off. So again, same thing here. I can click here to see the question. They can go back and rewatch before they answer if they want to. Whatever they'd like to do. 
And then lastly, we're going to let this play through and see it pauses the video and gives it to them right away. So in this case, email, canvas, class dojo, does not embed, continue. And then when I'm all done, they're finished. Then they just hit submit quiz. And that's it. Once they've submitted the quiz, they are all done. They can see the results. So for me on the teacher side, I can also see the quiz results for the whole class. And these grades should go into my gradebook. I hope that helps you guys understand how to do studio quizzes and add on quizzes into videos so that you can see how your students are doing on understanding the material. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, bradley.schreffler at ocps.net. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to see my additional videos and anything else I'm coming out with as these videos are released. I hope everybody has a great day.